Hi, I'm Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and welcome to Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I have a very special announcement because I am going to be co-hosting a readathon next month called the Queer Romance Readathon. This was created by Beautifully Bookish Bethany and I am going to be joined by several other co-hosts who I adore. I am so excited to share this readathon with you so let's just get started. I will be joined by Beautifully Bookish Bethany, Audrey at Perpetual Pages, Michelle at Thor Once Another Letter, Bear at Et Tu Brody, Neeks, Ashley at Bookish Realm, Isabel at Happy For Now, Tamika's Library, and Dynamic Dylan. All of the host links will be down below for you to go and follow them. The readathon is happening from June 13th to June 20th. Bethany has a whole announcement video so you can go and watch hers in case I miss something. We have a bingo board and a group book so let's go over that. Here is the bingo board that Bethany created. You can follow it if you choose. You can choose a book to meet several prompts and that is where the group book comes in. This is Drag Me Up by R.M. Virtues. It is a queer Hades and Persephone retelling with a black trans Persephone and a black demisexual Hades and this is contemporary. It completes the prompts a sexual rep, trans author, black author, Latinx author, indigenous author, erotic romance, indie author, disabled author, queer black love, and bisexual or pan rep. There's a lot, so you can use many books. I'm probably only going to read a couple in the week of the readathon, but it is just about prioritizing romance. Let's go for the bingo board and I'll just share the prompts quickly. We have novella or short story, historical romance, Latinx author, indie author, new to you author, 2022 release, Indigenous author, group book, which is Drag Me Up by RM Virtues, an Achillean romance by a gay author, non-binary or two-spirit author, Karina Adores Line. For this prompt, we ask you to read books published by Karina Press. This is their LGBTQ plus romance line. If you choose this prompt, I'll have a link down below for you to access and find some recommendations. There are two live streams filled of recommendations. One is Contemporary Romance hosted by Bethany and a few of the other hosts or just some queer booktubers who wanted to contribute and give recommendations. And there's one strictly giving SFF recommendations. So those links will be down below if you would like to check them out because I know I'm going to. Disabled rep or author, free space, black author, sci-fi slash fantasy romance, Asian author, trans author, bisexual rep or author, sapphic romance, YA romance, lesbian author, queer black love, asexual rep or author, erotic romance, and polyamorous. There are so many great prompts and I cannot wait to participate. I will let you know my TBR in June because I will be participating in all of the bingo boards in June. And I'm also going to do my own queer romance recommendations video before the readathon starts. The only requirement for this readathon is to read queer romance books. So let me know in the comments any of your queer romance recommendations. My recommendation is a novella by a trans disabled indie author and this is Their Troublesome Crush by Zan West. This does have BDSM, it has autistic representation, Jewish representation. I really love this romance novella because it has a lot of great conversations about being trans. There's a fat trans character. This is my favorite novella for many reasons. I just resonated with it a lot when I read it and could not stop gushing about it. It has great conversations about trans people and the medical system and also just about being a fat trans person. I adore this so much and the characters are in their 30s and 40s which I just love and it's just so great to be reading queer characters in their adulthood. It's awesome so if you want a recommendation and have just been waiting to read this or you never heard of it and I convinced you Highly recommend reading it for this readathon. I'll probably be reading some novellas, but I'll also have a link down below to our group book and where you can buy it. And 
that is it for today's video and announcement for the readathon. I think I covered everything, but if not, go and watch Bethany's announcement video because she has you covered. And she also has some queer historical recommendations in that video. So go and check it out and check out everybody else who are co-hosting this readathon. So that is it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see and you want more queer recommendations, you can hit subscribe. I recommend trans books, sports books, and we have a fun time over here. So thank you for coming and watching. I hope to see you in the readathon. Uh, bye. <laughs>